Hello and welcome back to the Triumvirate. Today, me and Aiden are playing Astra Meltarum versus Death God. Imperial God. Imperial God versus. <laughs> what are Death the new God. kids out there, Aid? The new kids can <laughs> do something. <laughs> So this is today's table and setup. So we've got obviously Cadians versus Death Guard. The game type is Big Guns Never Tire, which has four objectives. So we've got one here, one here, one here, and then another by the, the statue there. Um, it was hammer and anvil deployment, so. It was uh, 24 from each end, so it's a 24 inch gap in the middle. Um, I chose a deployment, so I chose this side. And Aiden's obviously on that side. Each objective marker is worth 3 points each. Um, but if you have a heavy support unit within 3 inch of it, uh, you control it no matter how many enemy models are there. You also get a point for each heavy support unit that is destroyed. And then of course there's um, Slayer the Warlord, First Blood and Line Breaker too. So, let's show you the armies. This is my 1500 point Astra Meltarum Imperial Guard, as they, they should be rightly called, uh, Cadian Army. So we've got two detachments, we've got a battalion and a patrol detachment as well. So starting off with the battalion, we've got Colonel Ramsey, he's got a power fist and a bolter. And he's also got the relic of Lost Cadia, which is at the start of any turn, I unveil the relic and I get to re-roll all hits and wounds of 1 for Cadian models within 12. And if I'm targeting Chaos, I get to re-roll everything. There we go. We got there in the end. <laughs> also got a Lord Commissar, he's got a bolt pistol and a power sword. Going on to the troops, you've got three squads of Cadians, shock troopers. You've got a flamer in two of them, a melter gun in one of them. They've all got vox casters, sergeant's got chainsaw and blast pistol. Then you've got a squad of conscripts, 20 conscripts. Ready to get shot for the Emperor. by the Commissar <laughs> for the Emperor. Uh, in the Elites we've got uh, a squad of Bulgrins with Brute Shields and the Power Moles. And then we've got a um, Tech Priest Engine Seer, given to me by my good friend Miles. And so I've called him Millicent. <laughs> and then we've also got Gordon's little Lieutenant there with his, uh, he's just got Last Pistol and a normal sword. What's his name? It's, it's not power sword, it's just sword. What's his name, Jay? His name can be, um, Andrew. <laughs> Andrews. Lieutenant Andrews. Andrews. There we go. First attack, we've got a Hellhound. He's got his Inferno Cannon, or whatever it's called, and a Heavy Flamer. Um, then we've got in the Heavy Support, uh, a squad of mortars, and then we've got two Lehman Russes. One of them is an exterminator with the auto cannons and the heavy bolters, and the other is a battle cannon, battle tank, battle boy Lehman Russ. He's got a battle cannon and three heavy bolters. And then we've got uh, dedicated transports, two Chimeras with multi lasers and heavy bolters. My second detachment, which is a patrol detachment, we've got. Tempesta Klaus. <laughs> so he's got a power sword and a Tempestus command rod, which lets him do another power, another order even. And then we've got two squads of Scions. Um, we have got a plasma pistol and a chainsaw and a sergeant. We got a melter gun, a plasma gun, and a hot shot volley gun and a voxcaster, and you should both the same. They are my, my scion jackals as they are called. And hopefully they do good things. <laughs> That's that. So, going on to Aiden's Death Guard. Welcome to 1500 points of Death Guard, 1491 to be exactly, but I can't find points anywhere. And I am rocking Typhus and his lads, his boys. So, what I've got, HQs, I've got Typhus, you know him, you love him, he's everywhere but nowhere. <laughs> At the same time, <laughs> yeah, he's my warlord. His warlord trait is stank, more stank, <laughs> extra stank, <laughs> more stank, <laughs> something like that. He does more wounds, <laughs> he 
when you go near him. <laughs> so, yeah. His war trait is more stank. My other HQ is just a generic lord with whose toughness four and no disgusting resilience whatsoever. Thanks, GW. Thanks, GW, <laughs> for that. <laughs> Consistency. Uh, so, I'm rocking him out. He's got uh, the only upgrade on him is the Bale Sword. He's got the relic that. The helmet relic that increases the aura size by three inches. All right. I always take on him just so I can get those extra rerolls. Yeah, for tanks. But I'll only be putting him next to one tank. But he always takes it and it looks cool on him, even though it's not a thing. Doesn't change him in any way. <laughs> it sounds cool, all right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so I got troops. I got two 20 man pox walker squads. And they're just toy man, rambling, shambling, you know what I'm saying? And then I got a nine man group of plague marines with <laughs> a melter gun, <laughs> um, power fist, the power fist, plasma pistol, and the sergeant, and an icon, icon, and the special heavy flamer spunk gun, a plague spunker, <laughs> plague spunker. No, that's not the same over there. Um, what's it called? Plague spitter, plague spewer. It might be. Oh, the plague spitter's on the drone. drone yeah. yeah. So so I got a plague spitter. Was no, a plague, plague belcher. Spewer. Very professional. I am a professional man, Jay. <laughs> Everything about me is professional. In every way. <laughs> <laughs> and they are taking a rhino transport. Whoa! For transportation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's my most recent paint. Plague Marines are slow <laughs> as ass. Yeah. So they need, they need to go. Is, is it 10 or 12 inches? 12 are right away. 12. Are 10 right. is like a Vindicator yeah, and the Land Raider. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're beefy ones. Yeah. <clears> so <throat> their, their speed increases from 5 to 12. Heavy support. We have one heavy support. It's a Predator with twin link Lance Cannon and two heavy bolters and a Havoc Launcher. Sweet as always. I put the heavy bolters on because it looks cool. That's that's it. That's my reason. <laughs> um, that's the heavy support. Uh, fast attack. I got two drones. One with the plague spitters, the two dual sp plague spitters, mm -hmm. and the probe. And the other one's got the lawnmower and and a probe. You still have to take the probe <laughs> if you take the lawnmower, which is ridiculous. The lawnmower is better in every single way. And, and the, the pro is 25 points. Oh, it's a bit crap. Yeah. 25 points is something I'm never going to use. R reasonable. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> and then elite. for elites, I got a Hellbrute with a twin lang, lang <laughs> cannon. Those, la those lank cannons <laughs> with a twin lang lang cannon, a power fist. And Combi Combi Volta on the fist. Now he's a special boy because Death Guard get the rules apply to him as well as all the infantry. So he can move and shoot the last yeah, cannons that's pretty good. and any other heavy weapons as if they were uh, f well full ballistic scale. Yeah. So I don't get the minus one the hit. So he's so he's cool. Mm. And uh, the combat does twin uh, not twin length like, rapid fire mode at eighteen inches. Nice. Instead of 12 on him. Doesn't on the Rhino. So that's 12. Again. Yeah, that's a bit stupid. Which is... Reasonably. <laughs> reasonably stupid. And then you got Stinky Steve. Yeah, and I got Stinky Spunkmeister 9000. <laughs> lad of lads. There he is. What a lad. Top lad. What's his weapon called? Oh, the hose pipe. The hose pipe of... <laughs> Goo. <laughs> it's a gooey surprise. <laughs> <laughs> the two good things about him, uh, well, three. He's got a, a grenade. Once per game, you <laughs> just double the amount of grenades you can throw for like a t oh, for right. one guy. Nice. So it's a double grenade once per game. Uh, he's got the special rule, which is within seven. If you charge me, you. Don't count as charging. Oh yeah. Man. So that's something special. The other thing is he's got his goo gun. Now the goo gun is a uh, hell. Like, it's probably the best flamer in the game. 
Oh, uh, yeah. With AP3, three, 3 damage. Could be 12. Strength 12. He's going to go in the Rhino, probably, with the 9 Plague Marines. So that's why they're 9. Oh, right. So fit in there with them. <laughs> Tonight, we dine on flesh <laughs> of Imperium. Probably. I have to remember the depth of the False Emperor rules. Yeah. Well. So, so what, what is that? On a 6? On a 6. In close, close combat, combat, you do another attack. You get another attack. And that's with every single thing. Right. I'm pretty sure. Including the Rhino. I, I'm, I'll look that up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll probably forget it anyways. It doesn't matter. So, here we go. Into battle. 1v1. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Aiden deployed all his army first. So I'll show where he's deployed his guys. So it's hammer and anvil, so it's a 24 inch uh, gap in the middle. Um, so he's got his zombies here with Typhus. Typhus has psychic powers, he's got smite obviously. Um, he's got miasma of pestilence, which is a uh, nice. minus one to hit against a unit. And we've got putrescent vitality, which is, um, what's this? I'd want to strengthen toughness yeah. of a unit. So that's uh, Typhus there with his zombies. And we've got the Rhino with the Plague Marines and um, the Stinky Boy. I, I don't know his name. Aiden should. Spunkmaster. Spunkmaster. <laughs> and we've got a drone there with the Plague Spitters. We've got the Zombies. And behind them we've got the Dreadnought with the Last Cannons. Uh, the Chaos Lord, Normal Lord and the Predator. And then down the end we've got the other drone with the Flesh and Mower. And go to my side, we've got uh, Squad Acadians here, we've got a Hellhound, and we've got a Chimera with the Bulgrins inside. And we've got another one here with the Acadians with the Melter Gun. We've got uh, the Acadians with the Flamer, and we've got Colonel Gordon there. And over here we've got the Conscripts, uh, we've got the Tech Priest, we've got the Lieutenant, we've got the Commissar, and then we've got the two Lehman Russes by that objective there. And then right at the back, hiding by the other one, we've got the mortar team. As for all of my scions, they're all in all in the Valkyries up above, looking down, ready to drop in. Right, so Aiden has deployed all his units first. That means he's going first turn, unless I can see his initiative. On a six. So, on a six. For the Emperor. <laughs> I don't know how many It times. begins again. <laughs> He's done this to me, but there we have Fully it. Holy Emperor! <laughs> End of the Cadian's movement phase, so pretty much everyone has moved up. Uh, the Hellhound's advanced, everyone else has moved forward. And then over here, the engine seer is uh, just hiding behind the Lehman Rushes there. So, going on to Cadian's shooting phase. End of my shooting phase. Um, so, Pretty much all these guys here shot into the zombies. Um, we killed nine, did we? Yeah. Nine zombies killed. Um, conscripts here shot into the uh, the zombies there as well. Took a few out. Took three out. And my Lehman Russes. Um, the what's he called? A ra eradicate. No, no, not eradicate. Exterminator. exterminator. Lehman Russ exterminator and the battle tank uh, shot into oh, Aiden's wow. dreadnought. And now he is gone. He's gone forever. Uh, so double shots on the human rush is standing still, very powerful. Uh, automatically nerf, please, <laughs> now. Um, so yeah, I, I did my orders. So I, I did first rank, second rank fire from the left hand onto them. And then I did the same then on this squad, around this squad. Uh, that was the end of my shooting phase and the end of my first turn. So, going on to Death Guard, turn one. End of Death Guard movement phase. All the zombies have advanced. The drone is flown round to there. The Predator stayed still. And everyone here has advanced. Uh, the Rhino has is looking to charge the two Chimeras. Initial D style. Have they actually advanced? Uh, what, the... The zombies advanced, you say? Yeah, the zombies advanced. The drone hasn't moved. That drone has. That one has. No. Yeah, this one that has. One hasn't. So these, this drone, it can, it hasn't advanced. The rhino hasn't advanced. And that is the movement. Um, in the movement phase, I did a little strategium. Cloud of flies. So you can only target this unit if they're the closest enemy unit. And 
In the psychic phase, I got the plus one to toughness and strength on them, and the minus one to hit on the tank. So hopefully they won't go down like the Hellbrute blaster. <laughs> Not as badly anyway, until the Scions come in and ruin my day again. Anyway, on to Death Guard shooting phase. End of the shooting phase, not much happened. I just uh, shot a couple of conscripts, uh, a couple of vehicles at the conscripts, really. Took about half of them down, roughly. Yeah, 11. 11. No, 20, so that's, that's alright. I uh, tried shooting over here with some combi bolters and stuff. But mm, to my avail, guardsmen are immune to combi bolters. And uh, that's that. So we that into Luminous? Oh yeah, probably, I did like you. Took three off, points off. And you yeah. can't see that because it's, it's really white. But um, yeah. He has got the engines here right now, so. And I did have to re roll one of the wounds to get both shots. Yeah. And then he saved with his little command. Yeah, so I used a strategic, which is <clears throat> plus one to cover saves. And I did a re roll as well, but uh, that failed. But I managed to save one of them. Yeah, with so the. That, yeah. Could have been a lot worse. Mm. So, uh, going on to my assault phase, I'm just trying to. I'm going to try and initial D the Rhino and um, charge him into them. Way. <laughs> um, end of assault phase, nothing really happened. I took down one guardsman, nothing, no damage back, and this is just a mess. It's a cool mess, <laughs> though. So, end of turn. Um, Do my morale phase. You did alright. Uh, morale phase. They're immune because they lost. Because uh, they're near the commissar. They only lost a guy. These boys are ever lost 11. But the commissar can make it an even number. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in the fight, you dogs. <laughs> so now they're down to 8. Down to 8, but. They're happier now. They're happier now. <laughs> They're forced to be happy. They're forced. Forced happiness. Welcome to the Imperium. <laughs> so they pass them out so, so basically, if you're within six of the Commissar, you use his leadership, which is nine. Yeah. But uh, they would have failed their morale test anyway, because they lost 11 guys. But he can shoot one guy, heartless. and that means they pass the morale test. Heartless, heartless. It's called making an example. Making an example, <laughs> is it? Making a mess. So that is the end of Death Guard Turn 1. Log, well, not that much stuff is happening, but De Turn 2, I think, will be a light, nice little round. Turn 2, yeah. We're going in. Going in. End of Acadian movement phase, Turn 2. Um, so, oh yeah, this is, again, it's going to be a, a right rumble in here now. Oh. So, um, the Chimeras. Uh, deployed their units, so the Bulgrins came up there. And then out of this Chimera came these guardsmen here with the melty gun. Um, the guardsmen oh no. that we hear have moved up. And then the Chimeras fell back out of combat, so I can shoot the uh, Rhino. Um, this squad of guardsmen that we hear have fallen back to here behind the pipes, and Gordon has run away with them, uh, maybe tactically retreated. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, the conscripts have just sort of moved around a little bit. Um, I repaired my Lehman Russ, so the tech priest, so he's up to 11. And I've moved them both from here, just over there. They moved under half, so they can still shoot twice. With the grind in advance, special rule. And then over here, Klaus has come in with his uh, stormtroopers. Now, it was a bit awkward because I had to stay nine inches away from like three units there. Um, so you got a ten man squad there, ten man squad there, and then you got close. So, going on to the shooting phase. Now, uh, Gordon's relic was Relic of Lost Cadia, so at the beginning of a turn, I get to whap it out. Whap it out. And then anyone within 12 gets to re roll uh, hits and wounds of one. If it's against Chaos, I get to re-roll all hits and wounds. So he's pulled it out, and he's within 12 of quite a few things. So we're going to see how well that goes. End of my shooting phase. So you'll notice over here there's a big gap. Um, combined fire from a few different things. Aiden's Rhino was destroyed. 
and the Marines had to get out and then they were shot by like Long last gun. guns galore. <laughs> Hellhound didn't do as much as I hoped but uh, still did it a little. Actually no I didn't do anything. Did no, I didn't, do anything. <laughs> didn't do anything. It just looks cool. Um, over here the drone has taken a few hits as well. Um, the Lehman Russ is. Um, I think that one shot everything into the Rhino didn't it? Yeah. And, and then that shot the battle cannon and the heavy bolters. The ba heavy bolters into the drone, battle cannon into the Rhino which destroyed it. And then over here, uh, Klaus and his boys took one wound. They've got ten, haven't they? Yeah. Ten? Yeah, took one wound off the drone and they took a few wounds off the Predator as well. With their, their weapons. So I think that's for the shooting phase. That's it. Uh, going on to the assault phase. Okay, that is the end of Cadian assault phase. Um, so we had the Algren, the Commissar and the Conscripts charging into the drone there. So you've gone down to two wounds. And over here the two Cadian squads have charged in. Um, there's one Marine left now in that squad. Who will probably run away. Who will probably run away. So we're going to do morale now. Um, um, looking for low. Uh, that's probably run away. Uh, that's run away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus four is twelve. My leadership yep. eight at least. So... <laughs> He's sucking out of there. <laughs> yep, so from morale, three three more Cadians died from that squad. So they're down to keep, three guys. They're keep down. ready, boys! <laughs> Steady, everyone. That squad is full. Um, I think that is it. So, going on to Death Guard turn two. End of my movement phase. Zombies and Typhus. They're coming in for a rav on these two little guards on squads. Um, before the start of the turn, I did the dead walk again, which uh, basically, if I shoot at anyone within seven, or if anyone dies within seven of these zombies, I get more zombies. So it's like an advanced version of their rules, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, Spunkar, he's moved up to fire upon the Algrens. He's fallen back, he's going to try and split fire. And the Commissar and the little guy over there. No drone has come in to tie up a tank because they're extremely dangerous. And get them not to fire for a turn is like amazing. And the zombies moved up looking to charge the Cylons. See if I can't bring some pain, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that is it, however. Losing guys. A lot of guys <laughs> with guards on fire. So I'm going to have to whittle them down a bit, see if I can do that. Just doing the cyclic phase, all that really happened is uh, plus one strength and toughness when I move zombies there. I'm going to death guard. Move, no, shooting. Shooting, shooting, shooting phase, turn two. Turn one, no. Turn two. <laughs> right, end of uh, death guard shooting phase. Um, nothing much happened really. I killed Nogren and killed a couple of Scions over there. Uh, I haven't got many guns left, so we'll have to see what the old fist are cut. Do you want to say what killed what? Um, Spunkler killed Spunkler over there. Uh, but Jay made most of the Yeah, saves. so I managed to... Oh, spent the command point. Spent the command point, so that put that in the box. Yeah. So I managed to save... Well, two of the Ogrins who died, but I managed to re-roll and save one of them. Yeah. So it's two, which is just a lot better than... <laughs> yeah, than just one on his own. Uh, oh yeah, and um, uh, split firing into yeah. these two. He's down to one, and he's down to two. And that is that. Going on to assault phase, death guard. Right, end of the charge phase. Typhus has made it in. Zombies have just about made it in. Drone has made it in. And took three wounds off it. And took three wounds off it. watch. Yeah. I used <coughs> defensive gunner's strategium. Oh, yeah. He had some fives in overwatch. Yeah. That's strategium. And then zombies have made it in over there. So. We'll see you at the end of the assault phase. So, end of the assault phase, Typhus finished off one guardsman squad and zombies took chunks up the others. I got quite a few zombies back now. I think they're down up to 19 there. Um, then they lost another you know, three boys in the morale phase, so it's just the Sergeant Fox and Melty Gun left. Uh, nothing's happened over here. Uh, I took two damage off the Limaras. Out of all that, <laughs> yeah, didn't do well in the hit rolls. And over there, I did two kills, 
And then you ran away. Yeah, two one kills day. and then one guy fell back. So exploded. Ran away. Okay. Oh, I died. Scoffy is. And uh, that is that. That's the end of the assault phase and the end of my turn. Now going on to Oh, Here turn three. Alright, so end of Cadian's movement phase, turn three. Um, everyone is going in. The, the Hellhound and the uh, Chimeras have manoeuvred. So the Typhus is the closest. Um, everyone here, so that these three, like, one man units are going in. <laughs> and then the Ogrins. Uh, Gordon and his, uh, his guards are going in by there. Um, over here, the tech priest repaired the Lehman Rush back up to 11 again, and he fell back. You can't shoot. Um, this one is again ready to go ram in speed if his, uh, if his guns fail. Over on this side, um, these scions fell back from the zombies, and they've sort of started moving towards the Predator. This squad's getting close to him, so he can get him to melt the range. And I think that is it for the movement phase. Uh, so going on to the shooting phase. So, shooting phase, uh, I've done my orders, so I'm re-rolling wounds of one on these guys. And then these guys, they are shooting even though they've fallen back. That's my two orders on them. Uh, over on this side with the Scions, so these have fallen back. Uh, he's done an order on them to be able to shoot again once they've fallen back. And this squad, they are um, re-rolling wounds against vehicles with the Militarum Tempestus order. And what about him? Uh, he's doing uh, re-rolls of wounds on himself. <laughs> Re-roll ones. <laughs> the lone guy. <laughs> um, Alright, so I've done I've done two strategiums as well. Which, hang on, wait, that one was two, wasn't it? Yeah. So I've done overlapping fields of fire, which is um, if you wound, if a, if a unit takes an unsafe wound, all other units are shooting it get a plus one to hit. Yeah, plus one to hit. Yeah. So I've done a wound with um, who did I do it? The conscript. The conscript. The, one, the lone conscript has done a wound on the zombies and killed one. So now everyone gets plus one to hit against them. Yeah. I've also done grenadiers as well, and I've done it on this unit, which lets all of them, if I want, throw grenades. So up to ten of them can throw grenades. Well, I think there's nine left, but yeah, there's nine left. That's what I think. Yeah. So I'm gonna be throwing a load of grenades from them. So let's throw some grenades, boy. Right, end of the shooting phase. Um, unfortunately, not as much done as I'd hoped. Um, there's still quite a few zombies left there. Typhus took one wound off, is it? Yeah. One wound off him. After firepower from him, run yeah. Um, over here, nothing happened with the drone. Didn't do anything against him. That was still alive. And then over here with the Scions, um, he killed two zombies with a grenade. Yeah. And then firepower from the two squads into the predator gone down to three wounds. So going into the assault phase. In the assault phase, um, over here the zombies didn't get uh, reduced much from the, the couple of squads that have gone in against some commissar and the Bulgrins and that. Um, over here, unfortunately my poor tech priest he's been just munched up by the uh, the mower uh, did I do one wound against him? Yeah. yeah I did one wound, but uh, unfortunately he's, <laughs> he's noticed a pile of like scrap metal on the floor. And um, over here, the, the Scions charged the Predator. Uh, two of them died in a watch <laughs> from last, last cannons. Um, unfortunately, they haven't done anything against the Predator in combat either. Um, and that is it for my assault phase. Going on to Death Guard, turn three. End of movement phase, the zombies are following, they've got the scent, <laughs> the Lord is, um, well you can't repair the vehicle because he's useless, <laughs> but he's going to smack some people with his sword. Um, over here, Typhus has moved a bit closer, so he's directing seven inches to pretty much everyone there, for a reason. Mm. Uh, the drone has moved six inches over here, to have a go with Gordon. And Spunkla, he's come out to fire his spunky goodness at the <laughs> at him over there. And I think that is end of all that. So psychic phase, I just got off. Might want to hit on Typhus, just just as a little stepper. 
Like never, a sniffer. Never be too careful, Jay. Going on to shooting phase. In my shooting phase, I'm going to use the big seven inch nuke bubble thing. And that is called Nergo's Rot. Paid three command points. Might do something. And it might be a laugh. Well, it'll be a laugh either way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll four plus for every unit within 12. Uh, 12, seven. And on a four plus, they take D3 mortal wounds. Oof. So that's. There's a commissar in there, there's guardsmen, there's all Does this affect your units at all? No, because Nurgle find it quite refreshing. No! <laughs> and, of course, the tanks. So, it potentially could do a lot of damage. Um, oh, I'll just start then. Yeah, just do that. Well. So, I'll start from here and here and here. And I'll go up here. So, Hellhound. Oh, boss. Takes D3 more orders. Three. Oh! Camera number one. Four plus. Yes. Takes D3 more wounds. Three. Come here, number two. Four plus. Yes. Takes D3 more wounds. Three. Oof. Guardsman squad, the three man squad of boys in front of me. Oh, no, thank you. Four plus. Oh, yes. they survived. The, the second Guardsman squad. Take D3 more wounds. Two. Oof. Two die. I get two zombies back. Oh, no. Right. Commissar. Oh. Yes. He lives. Ogren. Oh. Hey. And last but not least, Gordon. How many wounds does Gordon have, Jay? I think he has four. Well, he has one now. So, I would say that's a pretty successful uh, yes. little turn there. I did the equivalent of 3, 6, 9, 12. And four, I did a current of 14 mortal wounds. I would say that's a tasty number in my book. Mm. Now, on to the shooting phase. Right, at the end of my shooting phase, I uh, fired a bolt pistol, didn't do any damage. Came over here, did a massive nuclear explosion from his ass, <laughs> And did, um, I did a 14 total accumulated mortal wounds yeah that's pretty good so that was worth three command points i reckon yeah. um spunkler spunked over him and he's only got two wounds left um and then the drone fired everything into gordon and couldn't take the last <laughs> wound off <laughs> yes because he saved his flipping ass up and now he's gonna have to charge gordon and He's on two wounds Come on, himself. man, we're doing Overwatch now. Um, <laughs> that's I half, think it? that's it. So, go on then. Overwatch. Overwatch. Thank God. Oh. Can he do one? Oh! Come on, Gord. <laughs> Gord. Gordon. Gordon. No. Oh. No. See, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I can't enter. Fight of the century. Wounded drone versus wounded Gordon. <laughs> Drone's got one attack. He's gonna hit on four. Make it count, lad. <gasps> oh. oh! He wounds on a three. He re-rolls one. Oh! oh. Another one. Another one. Oh. See another one. Oh, oh no! Oh. That is a minus two and a D three damage. <laughs> is he gonna make another five plus save? Probably not. He's made a jam saves off now. For the Emperor. <laughs> Jammy! Right, now I get my three attacks back. Uh, with my power fist. Uh, Hitting on fours, because minus one. Right. Come on, Gord. Come on, Gord. You're a fucking you're a boy. You're a fucking lad. Come on. Strength wound on five. No fives, come on. Oh no! <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Back in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> right. End of assault phase. Uh, I wiped out that little squad there, with my lord. Um, I did quite a bit of damage to the scions too. But five boys went down, one run away. Uh, yes. Yeah. So there's one left in his own there. Um, I did a bit of damage to the tank, down to eight wounds. Uh, Gordon's alive. <laughs> Gordon. Gordon. 
Uh, but um, a lot of damage here by the zombies. The guardsmen have been wiped out, eaten alive. And they brought down one of the Orgrens. No. And he piled into the tank, but nothing really happened there. So, I mean, he, didn't, he did a couple of wounds as well to the uh, Demon Russ. Yeah, I think it's a mower. Oh, he done it. Yeah, it says there. And that is the end of my turn three. Yeah. So, this is the beginning of Cadian turn four, moving phase. Um, we've run out of time, so we're going to say this is the last turn, so now it's all, all or nothing. So, going into Cadian's movement phase. So, end of the Cadian movement phase, um, this Lehman Rust has fallen back out of the combat with the drone. Um, this Lehman Rust is now able to shoot again. Over here, Chimera and the Hellhound have moved close enough to uh, Aiden's whatever his name is, <laughs> Hose Pipe Man, so they can shoot at him. Uh, this one is staying here in combat with Typhus. Um, this little Lieutenant Officer guy, he's coming in to help Gordon. Over here, the last of the Scions is just going to stand his ground against the zombies. And over here, uh, the Tempestor Prime has moved towards the objective. He's now in with that. Um, so he's fallen back, so he can't shoot unless I do an order. That's the end of my movement phase, going on to shooting phase. So, Klaus over here, he's fallen back from combat. Um, so, can't shoot unless he does an order. So he's going to do an order to himself to be able to shoot after he's fallen back. So he's going to throw a crack grenade into the Predator. Um, here it goes. He got a six. Yeah. Damn it. Oh yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> my only hope. <laughs> Damn it, Klaus. Uh, my other order I'm going to do is Gordon onto himself, which is he can pile in and fight. Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes! Gordon's going in with his three power fist attacks. Come on, Gordon. Oh, oh hitting on fours. And on fives. <gasps> oh. oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Uh, power ball. Uh. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I only hope. Might have another beer. Might be able to get out another hitting before he dies. <sighs> Aiden's drone has just yeah. been... They're taken out of action by the uh, the Lehman Russ here. So, that is another objective secured at the moment. End of my shooting phase. So, when my uh, my Scion over there is just taking out one zombie. Um, Klaus missed with his crack grenade. Over here, we've just done two wounds against the Stinky Boy with the, um, the Hellhound and the Chimera together. Just two. Um, over here, we killed the drone. With the Lehman Rush. Yeah. That's it for shooting, so we've gone on to sop phase now. So my Hellhound's just charged uh, this guy, and unfortunately he's died, but he has exploded. So within um, six inches, everyone takes D3 mortal wounds. So we're going to roll for him first. Um, yeah. Uh, five up. Oh. And he's dead, so we've killed him finally. Oh. <laughs> with a suicide run. Suicide. Uh, Typhus was in range. Um, Typhus, yeah. Typhus. He's on five. Typhus has wounds. Oh. oh. Five up. Seven. Oh, it's down to three. All right, so we got Gordon going in for his last, maybe attacks against the drone. Three power fest attacks. Oh. One. Hit. Oh. Five. Come on, no. You got boy who's stabbing him in the ass. Boy who's stabbing him in the ass. So we got boy who's stabbing him in the ass. <laughs> Come on, son. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Oh! Oh, you found him. Oh, go on. Oh. <laughs> One is all I need. <laughs> Sorry, oh. So the last of the Scions falls. The death of the hero. No, he. No! <laughs> no! There he is. So the zombies into the Ogryn. Will he join his brethren fight in death? Will he get his knob bitten off? Yes. Will he get his knob bitten off? <laughs> Nobla! No! Nobla. Help me, boss! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boss! Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> End of my turn, turn four, my last turn. Um, unfortunately, a few of my my heroes have fallen, but uh, the mission is imperative. So that is the most important thing. Um, now it's Aiden's turn, his last turn, so we're going to see who is standing at the end. Right. Death Guard turn four. Right, so we're starting Aiden's Death Guard. Um, everyone within combat, within a certain range of uh, Typhus, takes right. mortal four wounds, is it? Four plus. So oh, four. Starting him. Starting him. So four plus. Yeah. Yeah. So he's down to four. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, can you use on four wounds? So, yeah. No. Down to three. Uh, now the most important. Gordon. No. Takes a mortal wound. Gordon. He got stank. No. <laughs> I died as I lived. A hero. <laughs> Kitchen man. <laughs> Um, did he get another zombie back? No, he oh. a zombie. So oh, at least so he didn't become a zombie. Yeah. And then there's him. <laughs> and an arse poker. Arse poker. And an arse poker. Oh, oh, he lives. He will succeed in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, shooting phase. So Aiden just fired his last cannon into my Liam Russ. Um, unfortunately, because he's moved and he's down to such a low health, uh, he's hit on sixes. And he got a five and a six. Last cans can do D6 damage, so now he can't actually uh, kill my my Liam Russ. Do you not shoot his other guns? I, I I confirmed them at a close. At close. Oh no. So so the, he's alive then. Yeah, he's alive and on the point. There's nothing I can do about that. Let's really? see how much damage yeah. it does. Mm. Oh, close. <laughs> Right, so end of Aiden's shooting phase. Um, the Predator and the Lord have done a couple of wounds off Klaus here. Um, Predator did a couple of last kind of shots into him, only one went through, and now he's under four. Over here, um, Typhus has used a destroyer hive and he's uh, done some wounds as Chimera. And most important one is the drone shooting into my mortar team who've been holding this objective the whole match. Um, so you kill two of them, the leadership six. So if you roll a, f you roll, f where? If you roll five plus the one. Is that right? Yes. If you roll four, it makes a six. Yeah. Yeah. So five or six. No! <laughs> oh no! Yes. Oh, <laughs> my waters! Right, so salt phase, Eden's charging his predator. Uh, Klaus is going to do a crack grenade into it. Come on, Klaus. Aww. Uh, he's in. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then the, the Lord. And the Lord. Lord's come in. Yeah. yeah. They're both in. You what? <laughs> you what, mate? You... Well, another hero has fallen. Klaus. Goodbye, Klaus. Oh! End of Death Guard Assault Phase, turn 4. Um, Typhus has destroyed my Chimera here. Uh, this one is down to 1. And Klaus was slain over there. So, uh, we've run out of time so we decided to end it at the end of turn 4. So, this is it. So, I'm going to count the points up now. So, um, I had first blood. First, first, yeah, first yeah, blood it's called now. So, I had first blood. Um, I've got 3 points here. And that is it for my points. Um, unfortunately, this objective was just taken literally just right at the, end. the last Just about second. due to morale. A clutch. <laughs> a five plus. Um, Aiden's points. He's got Lion Breaker here. He's going to slay the Warlord because he killed Gordon. Um, he's got this objective here, which is three points. The troops. And we've got that one over there, which is another three points. So, what's that, eight? So, Aiden's got eight to my four. four. So, it's a Death Guard victory, victory in the bag. An epic victory royale. Royal. Uh, so we're going to go to the post-game show. So, 
So that is the end of the match. Uh, Aiden won eight to four. Death guard. Good game. Death guard. As always, victory. Death guard won against Imperial Guard. Um, so Aiden was just saying now he thought he was doomed at yes. one point. Uh, turn two, when you all surrounded my guys, when you blew up my rhino. And my re rolls. And, and the re rolls. <laughs> yeah, that was I, very. Uh, I think it was a re rolls. I think I, yeah. I made my brain, I was sort of like, if you get them every turn, I'm doomed. Yeah. Because you were getting like 40 like, odd shots of las guns per squad, re rolling hits, re rolling wounds. My, my Plague Marines got decimated. Oh, yeah. I think the zombies won it for him, to be honest, because the I zombies think, are so. I think. I think and the and the um this the dead this strategia yeah the dead walk again the which dead lets him uh, again. if anyone dies within seven seven of the zombies the to come zombies back. don't have to kill them yeah that's pretty good yeah, yeah th those just came back yeah I just swamped with the zombies mm. so I couldn't really uh, do much against them and the permanent plus one strength and toughness bonus from Typhus. yeah that, that, that also helped um, oh, I should have. I probably shouldn't have gone in so far that early and just kept shooting you. Oh, that's what I should have done. Because I went in straight away. Yeah. I should have like, stayed back and kept everyone together for my re-rolls, my orders and stuff. Um, I think the science didn't do as well. The science didn't do as well as... But I, 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 I think I put them in a little bit more awkward of a position. Yeah. Because before they just all latched onto the tank. Yeah. And they just blew it up straight away. Whereas now they were sort of like spread amongst them. Yeah, I should have. The Scions I probably should have gone further back. and I could have gone into the cover over there or something. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, Gordon was good. Gordon Ramsay with his, <laughs> his relic. That, that's a really good relic. It is. Against I'd chaos. probably take that, to be honest. Um, yeah, especially fine. against Chaos. Fucking yeah. Um, it was handy having another little guy to do orders as well. Yeah. And uh, close with his two orders. Lehman Russ is still really good. They both survived yeah. again. One of them's only 11 wounds. Tech Priest is good as well. Yes. I didn't repair that. Even though he died. <laughs> you did charge him. <laughs> I did charge him against a close combat yeah. guy. So I probably shouldn't have done that. No. But Let's just stay back and repair. But there we go. Lessons mm. learned. Mm. Both my drones survived. Oh no, one of them died. One of them died. And one of one them was two yeah. wounds. Gone. Still... Gutted he didn't kill that. That was so, so close to killing that. that and was. then he wouldn't have killed. Yeah. He wouldn't have killed my mortars. And you would have had another three points. Yeah. I, 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 I would have been eight, seven. If you'd killed Gordon at the end. Oh, if I, if I didn't kill Gordon, if you'd have killed that drone and then ran away with Gordon or something, yeah. it would have been six. No, it would have been seven, seven. Because mm. the mortars would have lived, Gordon would have m probably lived because not much shooting. So it would have yeah. been a draw at that point, maybe. So I, I think if I if I'd done it differently, I would have put the, <clears throat> the scions away from the zombies and all that, so more just against one sort of isolated. Yeah, guy. one. Take them on one. And I wouldn't have gone in so much because <laughs> it just ended up in zombie town. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Um, I think my strats I used I over oh, a good uh, like combination yeah. between the different. I units. overplayed my zombie card so much that they just they just stayed pretty much at full strength. Yeah. It, I mean, they didn't. They went under ten once and they went back up to twenty. Yeah. <laughs> because the guard is just so easy to kill. Yeah, that's the, yeah. In close combat, it's just like yeah. That should be last resort. I know. For the guard. Yeah. And um, the con this con script. The con scripts are also scary. If I hadn't played the other card at the start, oh, right, yeah. would you have shot um, them in the con script? Probably, yeah. And rapid fire. Also, them. the guy with the hose pipe. Oh, I <laughs> he's love really him. Good. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, he's put, I'm putting him back. Oh. But, um, uh, hose pipe man. I don't know what his actual name is. Uh, Noxious Blightbringer. Noxious Blightbringer. Or Spunk no, Master 95. He's the bell man, isn't he? Spunk Master 95. <laughs> Spunk man. That's his He's name. a good unit. Very good. A lot of damage. Probably the best flamer in the game. It's also yes. assault, so you can move, you can advance and shoot it. And he's a character. And he's a character, and he has that bubble which says you cannot, if you charge any unit within seven, you don't count as charger. Yeah, well, I, that, I, I that's. Think, I think that's also yeah. a really good rule. That, that probably 
help the zombies, kill them all guardsmen, before the guardsmen yeah. get the zombies. Hellhound didn't do as much as he's done in a previous game. But, what, but what did I didn't really get him in against no. anything worth... He didn't shoot the zombies at yeah. all. I should have gone Flint. Yeah, so really. Oh, Instead well. of Typhus. Uh, that, that turn when Typhus was isolated. Oh, right, yeah. You got a good. Well, it, it, it didn't roll very well as well for no. the number of attacks, which didn't help much. But Typhus is someone hard to take Yeah, he's down. solid anyway. Yeah. He had like five terminators against him. <laughs> um, so, that's the end. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Unfortunately, I had to cut it short because of the time, but. Uh, we'll be back very soon. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Slash next, sweet. <laughs>